Hello, it's the Seahawks fan with another Go Pat League video. We got a Shadow Ho team. Now, mine may not be fully excelled. It is a lot to do a level 50 legendary. It's just Shadow, but Ho is returning to raids very soon. And it's definitely a fun thing to use in Master League. Plenty of fairy types, and the fire type is quite nice. We also have Origin Dialga and Complete Zygarde because why not use two of the most broken dragons to pair with a fire type that destroys fairies and just does insane damage. Now we're going to get that Crunch debuff onto Lugia which is very nice. Air Blast does land and they get the attack boost. Okay, we are in a bit of tr uh, predicament. We do grab the last shield. Shadow Horror comes in. To shield, I do. Can this be enough to take them out? No, it's not. We need another incinerate. They reach another sky attack. We hang on. Full sending the sacred fire to Kaboom! Almost one shot the Mel Metal. And it did not have the fast attack to take down the Zygote in time. That was crazy. So happy to have that be a steel type so I could one shot, well, um, pretty much one shot it with fire move. And next battle, we have a Mewtwo grabbing a shield advantage. Now, I mean, ideally, you want shields down to be able to have Ho of One Riot. Now, whether you do Shadow Ho or non Shadow. I definitely want to do not vault the shadow. If I do get a hundo rating, I'll just continue with the shadow investment. A little bit more my style and having the extra damage from Braybird is fantastic for just a lot of exciting moments. We have a Kyogre in the lead. Okay, okay. I actually made the mistake. I under... I. I underestimated the damage that, well, I, I overestimated the damage that Ho would do. I saw Ice type. I was like, let's bring in my Fire type. I actually am going to concede the Ho this battle. They hang on as a cure, which is insane. And they do Glaciate me, which is a big problem. They have their own Dialga. There's still hope. But War of Time does grab the last shield. And we have a full Hundo Kaiga to deal with. It's not Ogre yet with this Kaiga. We do land the EQ. Am I going to need to shield? I do not shield. The thing is, I am going to actually still no shield. I have the EQ. They have Dialga. Thank you, Dialga. May have survived this. And this one still does, but they were not loaded up with near enough energy. And that was clutch by Zygarde with, with Earthquake. We have a opposite Dialga matchup in the lead. We call the Iron Head because there was no Draco charged up yet. And we dish our own Iron Head. Going to throw another one. Does this grab the KO or last shield? Last shield? Who oh, I've not shielded actually. Shadow Ho is going to one riot. They do grab my shield with Draco. They actually have their own Ho, -Oh, and it is a purified shiny. Shundo purified. And I'm going to make a catch. Now, with an addition of Fly to Ho, -Oh, that would be amazing to have. Ability to throw back to back moves. But Brave with Sacred Fire is balanced enough and they are very strong moves. Although Land was kind of not balanced, but also it's it's not impossible to defeat. It is a relatively frail Pokemon. And we are gonna crunch this Alandris. Bring in Ho -Oh, and we take their Ho -Oh down. Okay, 
Landorus in the lead. Going to actually just pivot straight into ho -Oh. Going to shield up. It is only the Sansia storm that is annoying. At this point, I don't care about not trying to not lower my defense. I just want to get damage out from ho -Oh. It's not worth shielding up when I've been debuffed already. Would have actually two-shot the Lugia. Actually, no, I do shield up because I can incinerate down. And another Braybird actually grabs a shield. Incinerate damage doesn't go through, but we're in an okay position. Dialga v Dialga. I do have Zygarde, and I really just want to riddle their Dialga down. Grabbing the last shield is phenomenal. They're going to nuke me, so maybe they take me out, but the, the Landris has been shipped good amount of damage, and they can debuff me to Oblivion. I think I should have thrown a crunch one bit sooner, but I actually I wanted to make sure to be close to Earthquake for that the Alga, but I do end up going for the crunch. I do reach Earthquake in time. Is this enough? It does not, but one extra dragon tail was all I needed. And yeah, Zygo does carry, but also, Ho oh, actually, I mean, it, put, it puts him with some work. It's able to just get big amounts of damage. And I'm, I'm, I'm fighting off the, the fairy types because, well, why would the game give me all the Xerneas and... Togekiss, when I have a fire type that can resist the charm and play buffs. Moonblast. Which is nice. Sometimes I like the algorithm. Aeroblast takes me out, but I will happily sh save the shield for ho -Oh, I do shield. It is only sky attack, but still happy to shield. Gonna actually go straight for the a Brave Bird. I missed some bubbles, so I'm like, let's just bring in Zygarde. Do they have the Fusion Bolt in time? No, they do not. So we can hang on to the crunch. I'm just going to go straight for the EQ. Once again, this dragon goes down. Electric Dragon cannot hang on. And they actually have the move to be thrown. But Sacred Fire is not enough. I did lose Charge Attack Priority, but Sacred Fire was not enough. They needed a Brave Bird. And even then, that may not have been enough, but I did have Hello oh, still. Shadow Mewtwo in the lead. Not too bad, not too bad. Shadow Ball. And I'm just going to go for the Iron Head. I do just want Shield Advantage, but they make a nice catch. I am actually content with that chip damage. And they gave me pretty much a free incinerate, which allows me to get the incinerate down without having to commit my next shield. I'm, I can take a lot of damage from Psycho Cuts. So I Sacred Fire, but I do reach another move to grab the last shield. They do Psycho Cut me down, and Dialga is a sponge. I just have to pray there's no fairy type in the back. But Zygarde, it can, it can handle its own against most things. And let's see what is in the back. It's a Groudon. Phenomenal. I am healthy enough to not get taken out by Precipice Blades. I have Earthquake. The worst move than Precipice Blades. But alas for them, they are not going to get enough damage on me. And they are going to go down, down, down. And then one more Dragon Tail for that Mewtwo. And that Mewtwo goes down. And that's the loss for them. Another Mew, a win for the Shadow Poe team. We got another Mewtwo against us to go up against. We are going to let them make the first move. We are going to no shield. We like playing for shield advantage. Now, alignment can definitely be something very handy to have, but shield advantage when you got move 
moves on a uh, nuke, nuke po- nuking Pokemon, and you have a tank like Zygarde. That's a lot of fun. And we can no shield the Pressor's Blades. We may be fire, but we are flying. And they do not do enough damage. We do grab the last shield. We are actually going to shield up a fire punch. Unfortunate, but we're debuffed. And we are going to take out the Groudon. And, okay, the Olga does take us out. That's fine. We have a shield. I do not want to take any more damage. Going to go for a little bit of, well, over fun, overcharge. Because her last win condition was an earthquake catch. That would have been a very bad. So I just waited for them to try and make a catch, which definitely was just tricky for them. But another win in the bag. And we have another Mewtwo in the lead. Not too bad, not too shabby. Shadow Ball is their choice, of course. And we have Iron Head to grab a shield. Phenomenal. Side Strike is not enough for a knockout, but they do swap into Dialga. And I'm not gonna, going to be able to get a farm down. Now, level 50, who the extra damage I could do? But when I'm capped on energy, we have the Waybird. I missed some bubbles, but I do grab the KO. I could go for another Incinerate, but I just pivot into Zygarde, which is good that I do not go for an extra Incinerate. Although I guess I could have gotten uh, the last shield with Waybird. But they do give me the... They do launch the Side Strike from the two, which is actually two more Dragon Tails of Energy. Allowing me to reach these two crunches before they have another move loaded. And they are going to go down, a down, a down. But the thing is, they do reach an Aqua Tail, which is enough. I was just one incinerate shy, and they do not do the damage in time with Dragon Breath, and they get met by the ho to They get brave birded. Another shiny Mewtwo in the lead. Loving these Mewtwo's. It's actually a best buddy Shundo Mewtwo. A very fancy, very powerful Mewtwo. The strongest non-shadow Mewtwo you can get. Like the very strongest non-shadow Mewtwo you can get. And I'm going to once again give... Oh, no shield the uh, side strike. And they do another Dialga Swamp. They give me way too much energy from that incinerate. And that allows me. It's going to allow me to reach two moves. But they do give up the Dialga, which is ph- phenomenal. They have Kyogre, which I will happily nuke to grab the last shield. I actually can save the Ho-Oh for potential catch. If the timer does go up. Origin Pulse goes no shielded. And I actually waited to not. Well, I didn't throw a Dragon Tail to make sure they didn't catch. Because that was definitely a win condition. Catching Earthquake would have been a big problem. But now, one last move. Crunch takes the Kyogre out for the last win of the video. Hope you enjoyed the team. Shadow Ho, definitely fun. And definitely going to raid it once it's back in a week. Maybe just under a week from the time you see this video. But thanks for watching. Subscribe for daily go bad league videos. Trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Very close. And the like button if you enjoyed. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.